customized bed head panel. All right, this for this portion likely is going to take most time for this category, which you're going to customize each of the cabinets or maybe the floors or this plaster ceiling. That's how you wanted it to be. So for this, I'm going to start with plaster ceiling. Likely I'm going to start with splines lines to achieve likely this this kind of look All right so let's go start with the top portion all right all right so i use a lot of snap then it's easier for me to select that way so next you'd be extruding so plus this thing i put it likely about 300 as well just apply a basic wipe to it okay next i would want to boolean off areas that i wouldn't want okay so um i'm gonna be putting a cabinet here so just draft out all your cabinet sizes in advance so that you you wouldn't clash with any other areas or items that you would like to include in so wall, for wall drop it's about 60 cm depth or probably 600 mm depth just put it put it in and for this TV panel are likely going to be putting this back panel this and probably this as well so for this just equip it to the curtain area thickness maybe about 80 okay so i okay you would edit poly so edit poly i was normally put it a shortcut as well because i use a lot of edit poly for this um curtain may take about 200 in size and put it like that okay you would understand why i draw it like that because there will be curtains here as well like this okay edit poly as well okay i want the curtain to go in this gap right here all right and copy put it here select vertex and here as well all right so there's this cabinet right here as well just put it there Oh, sorry 600 for wardrobe as well and once you pretty much got the portion or the size correct then you would want to hit details on each particular items so for each item i would commonly select isolate them and it works easier for me isolate here right click isolate or probably a shortcut key that you for me i would normally isolate on my keyboard like this and we will want to try to achieve this portion right here so for this portion okay you just snap it like that let's say the gap i want it to be like 5 mm then the depth of the hole probably 10 mm Okay, I'll just put it at 900. Okay, so extend them a little. Because once you pro boolean it, if it's anything just aligned with the model that you want to subtract, it may have an error. So you may want to uh, extend them a little bit more so you won't have the error when you subtract them. So let's just divide into, you know, three portion of materials then just divide into three of them okay just estimate probably here 
let's say I want this at 50 maybe, is it 50? Say 50, too small, is it too, is it too small? Yeah, it's too small, maybe another 50, about 100. All right, seems fine. Let's get it 80, okay, just nice. And the final one at here. Okay, so it auto saves again. So auto save really much, pretty much helps you from your file being crashed later on. Okay, box this portion 20 and I want to create a kind of groove gap at the top and the bottom of it so it'll be like this at the very end I did poly again go down and here go up okay now we would want to create Groove line as close as this. Okay, so it's about like that. Here, here, okay, here, and here. Right, almost. Almost there, about like that. Okay, for this portion here, you notice there's just this two line, and there's this groove. It's like a fluted panel. Okay, we'll just try. Put it here. It's for this, you want to create. Oh, excuse me. Want to create this effect? And be able to all right, right here about like that. The size of it, okay. So just control C, control V, this portion. This portion as well. Okay, as for this, let's try to create it like this way. That bit at twenty. Twenty. Hmm. Twenty as well, right here. Right, this six is zero. Twenty. All right, so here. Twenty. So you have the look of like there. Two. Okay. You're close. Okay, let's just say 30. Yeah, it's exceeded the portion. Just delete them. Alright, you got it. You got your little panel. So sometimes, you know, you may not get a nice divide. You just use this FFD. And this. Stick to it and just go a little bit further from there, 20 as well. So you are divided equally. Yeah, correct. So the panel is pretty much done. And just create more of it. This portion, I want to pull in here. Right? And pull in this part. So this portion, I want to pull in this, this, 
this and this this as well alright so for this I don't think you need to put in for this portion yeah no for this you need this okay probably in this alright so for this I'm just gonna take this edit poly okay very like that and copy put it here and yeah like that all right so yeah we're done with this portion so we just gonna apply a rough material for it curl material editor okay i want a let's say a nicer wood okay let's probably just find cherry mat yes this seems fine okay just apply it put it here all right so apply it okay off the reward scale put it one a sorry uvw map likely i'll put it at 3000 okay no need to be concerned with the color because you'll be adjusting a lot later as well and let's just set it set this as like fabric texture it looks like fabric okay so probably just copy this fabric let's say we would name it fabric mat all right fabric mat all right cool so like this fabric mat and we want to change the texture of it so go to your materials and I would want to select a fabric for it. Alright, let's go with this. This seems pretty fine. I'll go with this. And I want the bomb to be the bomb to be this. Like me. It's okay. Seems fine. And for this, we want to put it at thousand two, maybe. Right, seems okay. And you want it top and bottom to be black. Okay, so we have a white mat. Okay, we can probably go material library, look for wood maybe. Do you have a black wood for this? Okay, we can go to walls as well, see if there's any black. Or paint black. Stucco black, plaster black. Or paint black, we'll just get this black. Right. Black and we want probably a gray for this let's get a gray for this of 50 let's say yeah it's pretty close to that or maybe 40 30 we'll apply this gray Mats seems fine and let's tweak this color okay seems fine already okay well just interactive render to test the colors like this and we'll see all right it's too sharp 
as you can see it's too sharp then we tweak it to achieve this look so for this same you go to color corrections all right all right go to color corrections so it shouldn't be that sharp probably minus 50 Yep, pretty close, just more towards yellowish. Yeah, not too sharp, probably 50. I oh, know, 80. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, even more. All right. Got it already. Okay, so this part is done. 